that's true. Yes, sir. Well, I, we all remember when uh, George McGovern was running for president. And George McGovern made the statement, which we couldn't believe, we checked later and it was true, that if I am elected president of the United States, I will crawl on my hands and knees to Vietnam and beg for the release of the POWs, okay? Yeah. True statement. I remember. And we made a pact. There's over 600 of us made a pact that if, in fact, George McGovern was elected president of the United States and did indeed come to Vietnam and beg for our release, not a damn one of us were coming home. Okay. We made a pact we'd all go to Australia. Little known fact. Now, save for a handful of the guys that came home, just a handful that are died in Democrats, the rest of us were more conservative than Genghis Khan. But you, you bet. You bet. All of us are conservative. And John McCain was one of them, okay? And he calls himself, you know, a Reagan, at that time when he was running, a Reagan conservative, that's probably true. But unfortunately, over the years, he, he's lost the fire, the, the fire in his belly to what conservatism is really all about. And now he's trying to say, well, I'm really a conservative, and we all know that's a joke. Unfortunately, a lot of us that came home, he, he's a Republican by you know, name only. And that's sad. And a lot of us told John, hey, hang it up, babe, and, and uh, get back to Arizona and, and take the bows for what you've done for umpteen years, right? And it's sad. And I tell you, what, it, you're not listening to it, but, but the thing that probably has really got my crawl more than anything else is Reagan said, Reagan said, look at you Republicans that are running against each other. You don't dump in each other's mess yet, okay? And that's what he's doing. He's dumping your mess yet. And I don't like it. That's the reason I'm, I'm both for him. Hey, I still love John. And he was a died in wool conservative like the rest of it came out of there. But he slowly changed. It's time for him to retire. He's too damned old. He needs to get out of there, just like the rest of us, okay? And give our kids a chance to, to do these things. But anyway, uh, I had I had to pass on to him. He is a guy in world conservative. When he got here, he's been there too long. And I like the fact that you said, hey, two terms and I'm out of here. And we need to get young people in there. We need to get somebody else in there besides the old dogs that have been taking this country down the wrong path. Okay. In a letter. I sure appreciate it. I thank you for your service. And, 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 and all of you guys, I was yesterday, and I think I can go ahead and announce this because I think you put on an email today. Somebody else, you know, Lucky Chest. Oh, yeah, I know Lucky. Lucky, uh, Lucky called me. Uh, we sat down yesterday, and he put out an email to about a thousand of his friends, and his words were exactly yours. He said, I believe, and I was with John McCain, and he served honorably as a POW. But now we have disagreements, and I'm supporting J.D. for the Senate. So you don't know what your support means. And I think all of us, in different, as a quarter century, almost a quarter century ago, uh, John McCain had no bigger booster than me. I, I was honored to go in and serve with him. Heck, in his first presidential campaign, I endured the wrath of a lot of conservatives by being one of John's national campaign co-chairs. Yeah. But things change. And, um, you know, we think the world of him, but it's just time for a change, the right kind of change. And that's why your heartfelt words mean so much.
Yes, ma'am.